Hey pretties, it's Kaylee. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple tips and tricks to just starting out with makeup, whether you're an adult, a teen, a preteen, or you know, you just want a couple makeup tips. I'm going to be showing you the essentials to having your makeup kit as well as tips as I said. This video will be really fun because it actually was a requested video from one of my Facebook friends, Stacy Kreitzer. She actually was my junior year chemistry teacher as well as my internship leader my senior year. And if you have any questions about that, you can ask, but it's not too exciting. Anyway, let's jump right in. So, when you first start out with makeup or even when you first start out with a daily routine, you want to start with hydrating your face. That's really important. I can't stress it enough. When I was younger, I did not worry about hydration or moisturizing or anything like that. And now I have really dry skin, but you can avoid that if you just do as I say, not as I do. I think that's the saying. So starting out, um, when I started, I used this Eucerin Skin Calming Daily Moisturizer. It wasn't a skin moisturizer, but I'm fine and that's what I use. I wouldn't recommend that. There are better options out there for probably the exact same price, if not cheaper, and I'm going to show you a few of those. So the first one is the Pond's Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Obviously, you don't need anti-wrinkle cream. I just like to play it safe. Also, I'm 19 years old, so you can't be too early for anti-aging. Um, the Pond's brand has a lot of different moisturizers. They're really good. They're really thick and creamy. I like them a lot. The next one is e.l.f. e.l.f. is a really good brand, as everyone knows. I think that this daily hydrating moisturizer is only about mm, three, four dollars. Really, really cheap, really affordable. It's a nice um, consistency on your skin, not too heavy for those who may have oily skin. If you want to splurge, you can. I don't recommend it if you're just starting out, as I said, but this was actually a um, sample with my Sephora points, so if you want to do it that way, you can try it out. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I would really recommend this too if you want to splurge, but you don't need to have a high-end moisturizer. The other ones would do just as well. Next, for your face, I would not recommend any liquid foundations. However, I did use powder foundations when I was younger, and that is what I'm going to show you now. When I first started out, I went to Sephora, I got my little skin tested or whatever, and they brought me to Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is a little bit expensive if you're just starting out. It's about $20 for the pressed powder of this. This is actually the loose powder, but for the pressed powder, like I said, it's $20. You can get that, but there are more affordable options. Maybelline has a Fit Me powder, and also this is the CoverGirl True Blend. This one's actually translucent, but they do have other shades of this as well. Pressed powder is really easy to apply for foundation. You just use a big fluffy brush and just sweep it all over your face. It's not too full coverage, but it's not too light coverage, so it gives you just enough when you're just starting out. Next, we're going to move to eyeshadow. So, I have many options for this. Let's start out with the Bare Minerals one. As I said about how I had the Bare Minerals pressed foundation, I got this at the exact same time. It's a little duo eyeshadow palette from Bare Minerals. As you can see, it's like almost empty. I mostly keep it for nostalgic reasons because this was one of the first um, high-end makeup things that I got. This is really good. It has really nice blendable coverage. Um, I like it a lot. I'll link them below if I can find it, but I don't think that this exact color combination is for sale anymore because, like I said, it's pretty old, but that's a good option. But again, as I said before, you do not need high-end makeup if you're just starting out. So if you want to get a makeup palette that has many different shades so you can change up your look, the Maybelline brand has released a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Nudes, and it has a bunch of matte shades, a bunch of shimmery shades. You can really get a bunch of looks out of this. I also think it's only $9, so that's great. Another one is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has so many different little palettes and the cool thing about these is actually engraved into the eyeshadows it tells you where to put everything. So brow bone, crease, definer, eyelid. It's really easy and um, really affordable. Those ones are only like two dollars I think, if that. Oh I don't think I remember to mention this but with eyeshadow, as you've noticed, the ones that I've been showing you have all been natural colors. You want to stick to natural rather than, you know, rock star glam when you're first starting out. Just because you don't want to go from never wearing makeup ever in your life to caking it up, you know? You want to 
just enhance your inner beauty kind of. You don't want to just hide your beauty with the makeup. These two options are really, really good, or this option is really, really good. It's L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Eyeshadow. With this, you literally just dip your finger into that and sweep it on your lid and it'll stay all day. You don't have to do anything else, just sweep this one color on your lid and you're good to go. Those are a little bit more expensive, they're $9 a piece I think, but if you stock up on a couple colors, you'll be set. You'll never have to buy, well not never, but as far as starting out makeup, you won't have to buy anything else. Moving on to eyeliner. Eyeliner is the kind of thing that people either love it or they hate it. There's no in between. When I was in 6th and 7th grade, the only makeup I wore was black eyeliner in my waterline. That's it. Um, I do see some girls around that age doing it on the top now. I didn't really do that. I wasn't good enough at that. But I do recommend it. If you want to try it, you can try it. If you don't like it, just don't do it anymore. Simple as that. So I have a bunch of different options here. These two are just really if you want to mix it up sometime, you know, put this, I would, would not put this on your waterline, I would put it below your waterline, so with the natural looks you can still make them pop a little bit. The key with makeup is a little goes a long way, you don't want to go overboard on it at all. Anyway, so when you're putting eyeliner on your waterline, you can choose from two different options. Here I have just a black pencil liner and here is a dark brown pencil liner. I recommend the dark brown pencil liner for girls who have blue eyes, gray eyes, green eyes, and the black pencil liner for those who have brown eyes or hazel eyes. The reason I say this is because, like I said, a little goes a long way, you don't want to go overboard. If you have blue eyes and you have big raccoon lines around your eyes, it won't look as natural as if you had a little bit of brown on your waterline. Like I said, you're trying to enhance your inner beauty, not cover your beauty. So that is what I would do with eyeliner. I wouldn't do liquid eyeliner really. That's a little bit too overboard. If you're a cheerleader and you're doing um, a competition and you need liquid eyeliner for your competition, by all means. But this is mostly for everyday wear that I'm talking about. Next we're moving on to mascara. I didn't really start wearing mascara until late eighth grade, early ninth grade. The reason being I have dark eyes so I didn't really think I needed it. but. Around 9th grade I realized that my eyelashes weren't as long as everyone else's and I kind of wanted to keep up. I have two different drugstore options of mascara. The first one being e.l.f. Again, everyone knows about e.l.f. This is a 3-in-1 lengthening, defined, and volumizing mascara. I like this one a lot. However, I don't use this that much just because I have better ones. The other one is the Rimmel Scandalized Retro Glam. This is a drugstore dupe for... Um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I live by. So since I'm in college now and I'm a little bit, you know, under my normal makeup budget and not working, I uh, usually reach for this more or buy this more so that I don't have to, you know, replenish a $23 mascara all the time. Now the next one, I wasn't sure if I wanted to include this in the video because I don't believe that it's needed for 6th to ninth grade girls or really anyone, but since it's a trend right now, I decided I'd include it, and that is eyebrows. Um, I just started filling in my eyebrows. As I mentioned before in my last video, I have Saskatchewan brows. I apologize to those who may live in Saskatchewan, Canada. I meant Sasquatch, but you know, first video, whatever. Anyway, so I just started filling mine in, but I don't believe that you really have to. Maybe if they're really sparse and you want to show that you have eyebrows, but there's a very thin line that you can walk with eyebrows, so if you want me to do a video on how to fill in eyebrows, I'd be happy to. I have a few friends that I can use as my models. Anyway, so moving on to the actual products that you could use. If you're a really young girl, but you just want to, you know, or actually, rewind. If you're a young girl and you have long eyebrow hair like me, but you just kind of need to tame them because they're all wonky, Brow gel. It's your lifesaver, man. I started using brow gel in 8th grade just because, like I said, mine were all wonky. It was actually an e.l.f. clear brow gel. I don't have it to show you, but I'll link it down below. Um, that really works, or like this one is unique. It's one of those um, brands like Mary Kay, but that works just as well if you want to. Or if you want to actually fill them in, these are two drugstore pencils that work really well. 
This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer that I showed in my last video. This one is wonderful. This one is a newer one that I just got, and it is the e.l.f. brow pencil. This one's okay, but the only thing about this one is it has a very thick point. So even though I have large brows, I can't really get in as precisely as I want to with this. But, you know, if you want to use it, if you think it'll work for you, go ahead. It's only $2. That's only if you think you need brows. As I said, I really don't think that girls 6th to 9th grade really need them, but it is a trend, so. Finally, rounding off this video is the lip products. First and foremost, my favorite lip product, even today, is lip balm. You know it, ladies. Burt's Bees is my favorite. I've been using this since, I can't even remember, but it smells like peppermint. Everybody knows Burt's Bees. I love it. There's also like Blist eggs. There's the EOS balm egg things. You can just get a bunch of lip balm and rule the world, in my opinion. But, again, if you want to, you know, have a little color to your lips, like me, then you can do one step up from the chapstick, which is these little tinted baby lips from uh, Maybelline. Or, even further up than that, this is a Maybelline matte lipstick, but it's in a pink color, which is like your lips but better. If you want to wear lipstick, if you want to and your parents say it's okay because if you're younger you usually have to ask your parents for what you're allowed to wear, but if the, your parents say it's okay and you want to wear lipstick, please only wear your lips but better colors. You don't want to go with a red unless it's a special occasion. You don't want to go with a purple unless it's a special occasion. When you're just starting out, you should really stick to pinks and nudes. That's like the best advice I could give you. Or lip gloss. I always wore lip gloss when I was in middle school. It was my favorite thing. Usually I got those little CO and Bigelow tubes from um, Bath and Body Works that tasted like mint because I lick my lips a lot. But if you want to go a little bit high end, these are two Buxom lip colors or lip glosses. That's what these are. Um, this one is called Tanya, which is my mom's name, so I thought it was funny and I needed to get it. It's like a Malibu pink. And then this one is called White Russian. It's like a nude color. As far as all these products go, I would recommend getting one of each. Maybe not the eyebrows, but other than that, everything else, one of each. And if you want to splurge for something in the essentials, I would choose maybe one thing. Whether it be foundation, whether it be eyeshadow palette, splurge for one thing. You don't want to get all high-end things whenever you're just starting out with makeup. I don't think you need any high-end things when you're first starting out with makeup. But if you want to, then just choose one thing. Maybe not eyeliner, maybe not mascara because they go too quickly. But like I said, if you want to do a foundation or a eyeshadow palette, that would be totally okay. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you didn't, bye! Bye guys, I'll see you in the next one.